Hey fellas. Right, it wasn't really. You know, I, it's kind of uh, just a little map I've got going of Transport Fever right now. I thought people might find it a bit interesting. Uh, right now I'm finishing off a little mainline spur between Rikonada and Mijas. Uh, build a little passenger way. A main uh, thoroughfare, not an expressway. Um, the difference being thoroughfares tend to be a bit slower, bigger trains, bulk passengers, whereas the express trains tend to be more about speed. The difference being you can throw a thoroughfare in with freight trains, which move slow as shit and take all the time in the world. Which is what we've currently got running over here. Uh, through this rather funky little section that I'm actually really quite proud of. Um... It's a little station which manages to utilize these two industries to fuel uh, basically every need for Mijas and is driving the demand up to what, 7.24? Which is good because this will make Mijas expand quite a bit um, and fuel our passenger network which we're going to be um, establishing here. There's no costs so it's more just a puzzle than a uh, game. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I turn this way down. Because I'm gonna listen to it later. Because uh, otherwise the game gets boring. <laughs> Without good music. I'll leave the rock there. Uh... Rikonada... The problem there is they need goods to function. Yeah, they need goods to function, and the goods are made over here with plastics and steel. And the plastics are made over here, which need boats from over here. I have a depot set up to see things. So that's a rather bump, bump, bump uh, thing. Probably have to run down the... That's sort of why I made this main thoroughfare again. You know, put a freight train there and go there. And I'll probably be establishing a shipping port somewhere around... Let's see, what are you? Plastic? What do we transport plastics in? I think it's a boxcar, but I'm not sure. Yeah, boxcar. Boxcars transport food. Food. Okay, yeah. food has to go overseas, and plastic has to go overseas. So my suspicion is that I will actually be shipping the bulk of this stuff to a centralized loading bay. Really right around here is actually a decent spot for it. If I had a way to mark the map, I would. Anyway, little shipping lagoon, which we might use to uh, fund all the chemicals and the food, too. So chemicals can go here, the food can go there and there. The brickworks is over here, which could easily be... Um, I say easily. This could be modified to uh, have a offshoot out that way, because this is the entrance. So we could pretty easily just make the exit curve away like that and hook up over there. This is why thoroughfares tend to be kind of slow. You tend to have a lot of stuff going into and off of them and trains stopping and starting. Uh, let's clean this up a bit since we're here. But I figure I might just record myself building this one out, because I'm having a lot of fun doing it. Anyway, the basic system is, uh, is quarry and these logs come here to this station. Get picked up by this train, which brings them over here, where the logs are processed into planks. The rocks are picked up by this, uh, big old rock train. I'll let them run so you can see them in the background. 
brought over to the brickworks where they're turned into bricks. And the bricks are picked up by one of the bigger freight trains that should be out. Well, right there actually. So this will pick up and half of it's bricks. And half of it is the wooden planks. So it picks up the bricks, comes back down the main line. Back out of the main line, grabs them. Yeah, there we go. Fill it with gravel. Yes. So it grabs those, then runs down the main thoroughfare into a uh, Mihas, taking all those building supplies and wood and stuff. Here's it all the way up here over to the big distribution platform where we are trying to <laughs> actually get our supply chain a little bit better. So right now we have a continuous stream of uh, and are effectively horse-drawn trucks going in. Anyway, the main reason I have it paused right now is the city's growing incredibly rapidly, and I want to make sure I get my construction done before they uh, mess it all up. The town, I mean. And at some point, we'll have to find a way to run freight trains down through here and connect that up so that people stop. I might do a tram line, actually down the uh, main road here. It's not a terrible idea. The main thing I've done is I've cut this road connection here and built one over here for them so that this can purely be my freight line. It's a little bit evil of me to just blow up part of a city's infrastructure, but not that evil. It's further on good. Oh, and I hate sharp edges. So every now and then I go over with the smoothing tool. Make it look right. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. So currently I'm trying to finish up this little connection over here. It's pretty simple. Flick on my contours. The problem is it rises directly into the station, so we might come down off the edge here and then come down to the side and then cook up like that. I'm sorry if you can hear my uh, uh, clothes machine running in the background. I've just noticed it's rather incredibly loud. So we hooked up the right side. Anyway, I am just going to maybe throw on some more music and keep. Oh damn! Don't don't do me like that. Ripey little crossings. I see what happened. Whew. Getting across a road can be one of the more difficult things with all the way the snap points work. Let's see.
There we go. I hope that records. This is gonna be awful boring. Alright, let's see. Cost track there. <laughs> it's not a music for everything, but I love it. Central's the name I'm trying to use for this general route that should feed pretty much everything on the island. Just pretty much all the main industry on the island is located along a straight line here. It's got to split off into a little section here, and I think I'll double track it all the way through to here. I'm gonna double check and make sure that thing's not recording uh, too much of the dishwasher noise. If it's bugging me, I'll just do it later. <laughs> Alrighty, fuck. I've gotten up, closed several bulkheads, and hopefully that should help the sound a bit. I can hear the damn thing in the background of the recording everywhere. Thing's on a spin cycle, it runs like a fucking diesel engine. Uh, let's finish up this track. Five hundred meeting space and tends to be standard here. Just go and kill any weird errant signal.
I should work. This is the big bottleneck right now because it's such a narrow land bridge. Kind of like it though. It's a nice little bit of challenge you won't get from a random generator. Or yeah, it might, but it'd be difficult. to put this in. I keep thinking I'll just run a tram line. This is residential only. So the people are either going to want to go station or to the businesses. Okay, let's set up Beautiful road design. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Wood fucking imminent domain again. Alright, let's see. We need something for the commercial because there's only one of them on the island and it's that. have a loop going through the town, a lot of tram coming from here to here to here. This one's getting a bit repetitive. Hmm. 
delicious right angles. I need a lot of buses over here, so I'll put it down right there. Alright, that's trams. I mean buses. Don't want to impact the residential. Buses can come from out of town, I guess. What am I doing? Think. No one wants a bus depot in there. A bit too much space for me right now. I'm just gonna go back to the beginning. I like the beginning of it. Whoa. I'm gonna get obliterated by the YouTube copyright censor, but I don't monetize shit, so I can do whatever I want. Maybe. I don't know. I don't understand copyright law, and I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna possibly flagrantly violate it. Nah, don't tell me I have to build, like, a specialized tram depot for it. Yeah, no, there's no way. Come on, guys. I can uh, configure these, that's right. Okay. 
turn it down just a touch for myself. And I have a mod which should automatically adjust. And we had to have music. I mean, you wouldn't want things to get dreary, would you? So just to keep everybody awake, sort of, I asked a couple of the boys in the ground. Should automatically buy more trams. Like what? Ten of those? There, that ought to reduce the fucking. Uh, what do you call it? Shit ton of people going through without bothering my rail network. That's one car every minute. As opposed to the billions I have going on, which keep them out of the way of my trucks. Which is the only thing that matters. Industry. Alrighty. Just leave it as tram question mark for now. Let's see. Central. Central loop. It's gonna be... No, 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 no. It's gotta go around this way, because this is on that side. I should put another one on the side over here. For the, uh... For the buses. Maybe I should put buses over here give a bit more room for the industrial expansion, but also keep them out of the way of the trams. This is that, uh, thrift shop cover. Thrift, thrift shop cover. Yes. That's going to be way too confusing. Colors got to be something else. Yeah, that's what's wrong. I had the filter on. Now I can see it. Nah, I don't want to run all that off that. 
That ought to keep the town circulating. Uh, let's see, like five buses, maybe? Ten buses for everyone else as well. Let's see. gonna throw a very German name in there. Yeah, it's a person feeder. We feed people to it. That's where all the buses go. Okay. Time to rename this one to... We has terminal, since it's gonna be the big place we shove everyone. The smallest station we have. This isn't a poor idea at all. Central bus. Like what? Person feeder at seventy. Well, we need to figure out what the actual throughput for the uh, this one is. Yeah, I'm gonna co-opt this real quick. Not better. Attractive efforts even ours. Let's see. Let's reach fifty in a minute. You're empty, right? Yeah. I suppose technically it goes faster than everything else in the line so it can, since it can actually hit its top speed.
take all the bricks or do they just not want more bricks? Central is 73 people. So 73, we need 73 on the feeder. Oh, you've got it. Yeah, that should work. That's actually just balanced. So we need... What's the frequency on that? 47 seconds. 37 on the central bus. Should work. It's not a really great throughput, but it's better than no throughput. Alrighty. Now to do it all again. Unnecessarily long. So we really have perfect coverage. about <laughs> that. That's a little broken. There's a central route. Do I need one of those? I could just have everyone group with the station. Is it front loaded? Or not front loaded, but like loaded too hard in the center? I think so. We'll do separate lines for this. I'm sure this won't cause hilarious political divides in the future. That should be fine. I have a script that's running in the background anyway, which, which will modify it so it doesn't fuck with me for too much, because I hate doing that. <laughs> so we'll probably have a billion buses out by the end of this whole thing. But yeah, that's, that's not terrible for uh, today. Nothing weird happens on this route. I 
It may honestly be worth putting the the faster mogul on this one. Which is kind of what I always intended to do. Big engine. Almost always forget how massive these things are. Yeah, it's got a bit of a gradient here at the end. that pump it up to 85 10 more passengers a year It's real dumb, but this is like how I imagine Guarma and Red Dead 2 is. Fucking <laughs> trains everywhere. Dutch would be in heaven. <laughs> how big did I build this thing? Taking the bus, right? Not bothering my uh, factory carts. <laughs> Straight up killed a man with bricks. Alright, cool. And that keeps the. Uh, the one track thing all to one very small section. The most it can get backed up is uh, along there. The freight trains will get a pretty large priority on that. And I can't really put a signal here because I can't have one wait here for that because it'll block the whole damn thing. We'll just have to live with the freight trains having a high priority.
Can I tell the tool line not to load any tools? I did, didn't I? Where's tools? Don't load any bricks. Jesus Christ. That's why nothing was working. Right? Okay, now I gotta check this. That feels dumb as hell. Green people want tools. Yeah. Okay. Christ. That's why nothing was going anywhere. Well, we did it, gang. We solved the mystery of how I can be that possible. That's stupid. Seems like it's working. I'm excited. Where's that train at? Ah, oh, nice. I always wanted to watch rich people from afar. Plus, it spends most of its time on untouched virgin passenger rail. guys doing I must have set these up as like uh, 240s or something stations I mean 160s there's no way they're 160s they gotta be 240s yeah they're 240s that's good we can make a bigger passenger train in the future not out because these things are already slow as hell can barely move but Detail trains or electric trains? We're gonna be building trains that click long. A train as long as the island. You just turn it around and you're already there. <laughs> Okay, not making much money yet. Oddly not making much money. That's my own fault. Everything else is passenger lines. Passenger lines will pick up as people actually move through them. They sort of build into themselves. They're weird.
So I've got a little time mod on thing. Lets me sort of jump around time zones. So I'm hanging out in 1890 until I've got all the parts of the map uh, connected, which I feel would be connected. Um, most notably, I want to get this food connected somehow. Because I feel like well, at least one island city would be. And that means I want to do it over here. Or I could do it over here. But this is just such a cool place to sail through. I mean, look at it. Which means we gotta blow this up. Damn. Does it? Do we really have to? Do we have to have to? I could put a terminus station there. We could run a weird little one-line terminus out that way. Two-line terminus? Almost feels backwards, because I'd want to have passengers come in from here. That's the shortest train I could build. I can build a small one, comes off here, for those little uh, self-governing units. What, Banana Republic? It's the name of the map. Self-governing unit. Uh, Self-contained unit. It's like a streetcar on rails. Which, I guess for the most part, is just a streetcar. Uh, sorry about cutting out there so suddenly. <laughs> uh, seems I've run out of hard drive space, G give or take. Um, so I'm probably going to call it around here. Got most of what I wanted to do done, though. Uh, Pastor network seemed to be set up pretty well. I could definitely f*** though and be a-okay. And still be fine. What are we looking at like, here, like... 88. Yeah, we could probably throw like four passenger trains on there and be genuinely fine. The only thing I worry about is having, at that point, five trains that run through this gap. Yeah, you start to add uh, potential complications with the idea of like, what, one, two, what do we have? Like a train stuck there, a train trying to get in through there, so a train stuck there. And the whole point of this thing is so that people don't have to wait all the way up, so that freight train doesn't have to wait all the way up there, but it's just not going to work out. It's just going to break it eventually. So one, two. What chance for trying to get stuck there? no reason for the line to really exist like it does right now. I think the problem is just not enough room to side a uh, train, so it really does just have to be the one inefficient line all the way in. Which means we will probably have to put this cutout somewhat further away at some point. Or even just not run a train right there. Oh great, they built another room. Probably I'll probably leave that train station there. We'll eventually use it as like a big old station. As to getting over here though, probably talking about a line that runs through here up this way. To make end products though, or mid products, I mean to say. 
good thing about an oil train is an oil train can just carry itself. Ah, but it doesn't carry the oil from it. Well, let's see, for the 1920s then. And we gotta fix that up to do that. To get steel, we also have to finish plastic. And that basically completes the entire thing. <laughs> so to transport the iron ore, we also need to transport the coal ore. Which means we either need to transport the steel and oil, plastics, combined together, go over there for the goods, which get on the boat, and head to Rarikon Sinenda. Which means that we'll need a station which can really service both, which goes right about here. We'll do something kind of like this station with one of these offshoots, but it'll probably be a bit smaller. With really long shoots on and off. Ooh, that's, that's troubling. Or puzzling, I should say, not troubling. Oh well, we'll figure it out next time, probably. Alright. Till then, see ya.